Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. We are here back in the garden just to have a quick look over how things are sort of grown in the little greenhouses that we've got scattered about and then at the end we'll go inside and we'll have a look how things are looking under the grow lamps because it's all it's all getting a little bit crowded in there at the moment. The tomatoes, the cucumbers and whatnot, they're all getting a bit big, which is just starting to cause me a little bit of a problem. Because even though I've had to put my hat on, it's really sunny, I'm, I'm squinting a bit and sorry about that. But the temperature still, it, it's not quite there yet. Overnight, we're still coming down to sort of three, four degrees. So we're not, not quite ready to put those plants out yet. But what I'll do, I'll whiz you around on the handheld. I'll show you how everything's looking and how we're getting on at the moment. Back with you in just a jiffy. Right, and here we are at the first little mini greenhouse and on the top here I've got two trays of peas either side here growing in the long root trainers. They are sugar snap peas and they were they were a little bit leggy, I sort of let them get away from themselves indoors to begin with to get them to germinate. But just now they're starting to recover and they're starting to look really good. They'll be getting planted out very, very soon. This is a this is a rogue pack joy here that was growing in amongst the um the onions that I'll show you in the other in the other little greenhouse. I discovered that the other day, but you know, we'll grow it on and we'll use it. We've got some little rocket down here that'll be going out very soon. And these two back here are potatoes for the se uh, single seed potato challenge. That'll do a video on coming up soon. There'll be something about that. We'll not worry about that just now. Coming down to the second shelf. This is all lettuce, sort of salad leaves on this side. The tiny little ones are icebergs. There's some Lolo Rosso, there's some little gem, there's some mixed salad leaf stuff in there. They'll all be going out very soon. And there's a, there's a bit of a theme coming here because we've got spring onions, we've got beetroot, and we've got two different types of collie at the back there as well. They're all going to be going out very, very soon. Moving on down here to the bottom shelf. Again, mainly... Oh, different salads, what I've got here, these are the, the Cosmic Crush, I think it was called, the ones that we got from America. We've got some Brussels sprouts, we've got some turnips, I think, on the go there. And if we have a look on this side, I've got a squash on the go there, that's a Boston Marrow. And then we've got three different sunflowers there, I say different there. Different plants, obviously, but they're all of the same variety, and they're earthwalker sunflowers. And they've they've only sown oh just about a week ago or so, was it? And they've come up really, really quickly. The same same with the squash, actually. That'll uh, that'll not be long before that's gone out. Right, back with you in a jiffy at the second mini greenhouse there. Okay, so over here at the second little mini greenhouse, it's a bit. It's a bit sparse at the moment because I've been shuffling things around and moved it into a bit of a sunnier spot. And these are some, some leeks at the bottom here. They're looking a bit leggy. They weren't in the sunny spot, say, to begin with. They are Leon Prize take. And what I'll, what I'll do, they actually need potting on, so they'll get a bit of a, a sort of top and tail when they get potted on, and that'll help them to recover and become a lot better, ready for planting out later in the year. Moving up onto the next shelf here, we've got a big old tray full of sunflowers. Loads of them going on there. That's for a little community project that I'm part of, and we're going to be doing this as part of a sort of plant swap, plant sale sort of thing. And speaking of which, this tray above is for that as well. This is a tray of parsley and it's moving really, really slowly. It's very slow to germinate parsley. So that'll be another couple of weeks before they look any sort of decent size at all. And moving up here onto the top shelf, these are the Bedfordshire Champion Onions and they are looking absolutely brilliant. They were grown from seed, so they've had a bit of TLC in here and they're looking absolutely grand. So they are looking fab and they'll be getting planted out again very, very, very soon. Right, bear with me just a minute. We'll scoot inside and we'll take a look at how things are looking underneath the two sets of grow lights. Righty tighty, this is the first set of grow lights that we've got on the go here. As always, I've got the lights turned off for the video because when they're on it looks absolutely awful on camera and you can't really see the plants properly. These are sweet peppers, they're king of the north, they're going pretty good guns in there. And just to the side of them I've got some tomatoes on the go there. Different varieties and the tomatoes are all sort of jumbled up and they are starting to grow nice and big and into decent plants. And what we'll do at the end here, let's just pop the grow lights back on and you can see it looks a bit ropey on the camera there when the lights are on. But what we'll do, we'll pop upstairs to where I've got the main stuff grown and we'll take a look how things are going on there. So on the way to the grow lights in the room there, we'll have a quick look at some of the stuff that I have littered all over the windowsills in the house. These are all chilies along here, different types. This one here is habanero. This one here is chocolate doula. In the ones in the middle here that you can see with the little flowers all over them, it's called basket of fire. And if we just 
move over here you can see we've got the very first chili pepper already starting to go so it won't be very long before these are heading outside as well and here we are in what's becoming the pepper cucumber and tomato jungle underneath the big sort of spider farmer grow light there right we've got all sorts of stuff going on here it's getting very very crowded i'm gonna have to move some stuff about and give some plants away or move, move them somewhere it's getting really really busy in here for the light so these are all again these are king of the north sweet peppers over this side at the front further back we've got loads of tomatoes there loads of tomatoes on this side but the main problem we've got some of these ones back here the cucumbers and the aubergines especially through the size of this one they're getting absolutely massive that's causing me a bit of a a bit of a problem but uh we'll we'll deal with that it's, it's a nice problem to have shall we say having having plants that are getting too big but the one thing i would say is i was a little bit worried about my tomatoes because i started them off a little bit later than i did last year because i had issues with them getting leggy last year and i had them on windowsills and stuff talking about overcrowding because i didn't have the the nice spider farmer grow light last year but we've got all this set up and what i would say is like if you just have a look at this one here the plant itself overall might not be as tall and as leggy as they were last year but they're much healthier plants they're much fatter and they look much much better than they did last year so things are looking really good up here needs a bit of a shuffling around and i've got one sort of size pot left that's slightly bigger than these ones you can see the roots are just starting to poke out the bottom there so when you start to see them you know it's time to pot them on so within the next day probably over over the weekend maybe actually we'll get a lot of these potted on into the bigger pots and then after that we'll be looking to put them outside because temperatures are slowly starting to creep up well that's me pretty much done for this one thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed seeing all the different plants and crops and things that we've got in the go i always like to do these sort of videos about every two to three weeks sort of time so you can see how things are progressing at this time of year with the weather and climate and things that we've got and especially underneath those grow lights the, the spider farmers that's the very first year we've been using that type of grow light and things are going absolutely brilliantly underneath them especially the tomatoes there was there was a few of them i was a bit worried about I'd, I'd sown them later than i did last year they were looking a bit small at one point but as you can see they're really 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 strong plants there and they're looking really good and healthy and i reckon in the next i'm aiming for about three weeks time to start looking at getting stuff planted out into the polytunnel and as always all the seeds you've seen there pretty much all of them anyway apart from one or two have all come from dt brown our favorite seed supplier that we love getting and stuff from anyway if you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on here and see how these things grow especially when they're getting planted out please think about subscribing it's absolutely free it doesn't cost anything you just click the little button down below and that's it done anyway that's me done for today once again thank you very much for watching folks and i'll see you on the next one bye for now